Hi, I'm Leanne Agurkis with CA Technologies and Smart Enterprise. I'm here with Javad Malik with the 451 Research Group. Hi, Javad. Nice to see you. Hi, thank you. Great. Nice to see you too. Hey, I wanted to um, ask if you could tell us a little bit about the ses session you just moderated here at RSA Conference. Right, yeah. The, the session I just moderated was on the cybersecurity skills gap and what can be done, you know, to address the gap, how big the gap is, uh, where what companies can do better and what practitioners can do better to try and close the gap and, and meet the demands of the market in cybersecurity. Well, what are some of the biggest changes in the threat landscape that you're seeing and how is that impacting the role and the skills needed today? I think one, one of the biggest uh, factors that have changed in security over the last five, or even less, three years is the greater visibility. It's this move onto the internet uh, of nearly traditional businesses that are very reliant on online services now, the uh, introduction of embedded uh, devices like with, you know, you, you can get anything with, with almost like an operating system built into it and so there's a challenge of how do you secure it, how do you make sure it can't be exploited. And, and then coupled with that you've got this rise on uh, internet activism or uh, state sponsored kind of like attackers. And what's that all, what that's all led to is that there's a big spotlight that's now been shone on information security, uh, which is like, which people haven't been accustomed to within the industry. And what that's also led to is a lot of um, snake oil salesmen moving into them this industry and proclaiming to be experts or, or be best positioned to, to fight it. Interesting, snake oil. Hmm. Uh, yes. So yes. what do you think is the most essential skill for security professionals today? One of the most essential skills is probably having that ongoing curiosity and the ability to question and learn new skills because it's such a rapidly moving industry. It's very difficult to nail down absolutes that this is the skill set you need. You need to be a programmer or you need to do this. But having a good appreciation of the fundamentals so that even if the, uh, the say, the programming languages change, you at least understand how something is put together what the attack vectors could be and how best to uh, protect against them. So how, how do you think companies can best address the skills gap that you cited, whether it's a nation state attack or a, a, a snake oil salesman or what have you? It, it's, it's quite a tough one for you know, a lot of companies because they, especially larger ones, they have a very regimented HR process that goes out to procure um, talent from the market uh, and a lot of it relies on a lot of tick box exercises does so and so have a certification or do they have 10 years of experience or what have you whereas it, it needs to be kind of like more free flow as in like you know understand exactly what the enterprise needs if, if you're a finance organization you'll have different security needs as opposed to a you know, a, a, a healthcare organization or which would be different from a small service provider. So, so find out exactly what you need, what you're looking for, develop a job role around that and then actually go out, develop good relations with your recruiters or, or even use um, outward channels like, you know, Twitter or LinkedIn to reach out through your network to find the people who are best suited for those roles. Great. Well, let's turn it a little bit. Any, any um, sage advice for the security practitioner? What should they be focused on? when it comes to beefing up their skills? I think one of the biggest areas where I think security practitioners lack is the communication skills. It's the ability to sell themselves. A lot of people know how to do very good programming, they know how to defend oh, against yeah. certain things, they can do pen testing and what have you, but you know, they're not very articulate in explaining how they do that or what they possess. So, you know, getting better at you know, condensing something into a 30 second sound bite as opposed to going on for 10 minutes explaining the differences between you know, why SSL version 1 is better than uh, or worse than another version and, and those kind of things. So I think having better communication skills and being able to explain issues to the business or non-technical people in, in an easy way is essential. Great. Well thank you Javad for your time today. No, thank you very much. I'm Leanna Gurkis signing off for Smart Enterprise Magazine.